Good morning, Year 4. Welcome to your final lesson with me this week. We are going to carry on with our reading using our Derek. So just a really, really quick recap of what Derek stands for. Remember, we've got D for decoding words. That's why we're using our spellings and our phonics to unpick unfamiliar words. E, explaining new vocabulary. R, retrieving information. And that was our last lesson. And then today we're going to go on to interpreting information using our inference skills. Now, this one's a bit more tricky because the answers aren't really obvious. You have to use an educated guess and you have to use clues. You've got to look for clues in the text to help you answer. And then the final one, C is choice, thinking about the choices made by the author or illustrator. Now, before we dive back into our text from Harry Potter, we're just going to have a look at the blurb from the back of Gangster Granny. I love this book. Can you pause the video? Can you have a read through the back of this and then press play when you finish? Well done. OK, so if we were to have a look at our very first one of E, explain, what does the word international mean? I found that one here, and she's an international jewel thief. Pause the video, have a think, write on your whiteboards or talk to your adults. What does the word international mean? Okay, well done, year four. Now, international is something that happens between two or more countries. So an example that I've heard on the news recently is about international flights. So that's when you would fly from one country to the next, two countries. Okay, let's have a look at our retrieve question. How did Heat describe David Walliam's book? Now remember, retrieve is you can actually take it from the text and steal the answer. Pause the video. Okay, let's have a look. We've got Heat. Now, Heat is a magazine. So how did they describe the book? As the funniest book ever. So after Retrieve, we've got our focus today, and that's Interpret. Why has the Daily Mail described the book as a gem of a book? Pause the video. Okay, let's have a look. So for gem of a book, it's here. Now, I haven't given you the answer on the screen, but I'm going to share my thoughts. So if you were to describe something or somebody as a gem, it means they're really special and really important, really good. And have a look. If you've not read Gangster Granny, it's about a granny who steals jewels. So I think they've linked the meaning of gem to the book. And, oops. and finally, choice. Why has David Walliams chosen to display illustrated by Tony Ross in a gold badge? Pause the video and have a think. Okay, again, year four, I've not written my answer down, but my thoughts are Tony Ross is a very well-known illustrator of children's books. So if you, if you weren't sure about who David Walliams was, you might recognise Tony Ross and it might encourage you to buy this book. Okay, let's have another read through. Today, I'm going to read some of the text and then I'm going to, I'm going to go quiet and read in my head to allow you to read a paragraph yourself. But let's start together. Harry managed not to shout out, but it was a close thing. The little creature on the bed had large bat-like ears and bulging green eyes besides tennis balls. Harry knew instantly that this was what had been watching him out of the garden hedge that morning. Okay, can you read the sentence in your head, please? The creature slipped off the bed and bowed so low that the end of its long, thin nose touched the carpet. Harry noticed that it was wearing what looked like an old pillowcase with rips for arms and their collars. 
Can you pause the video and can you read the next three lines? So thank you, said Harry, edging along the wall and sinking into his desk chair next to Hedwig, who was asleep in her large cage. He wanted to ask, what are you? But he thought it would sound too rude, so instead he said, who are you? <laughs> Can you pause and read the next three lines, please? Aunt Petunia's high force laugh sounded from the living room. The elf hung his head. Not that I'm not pleased to meet you, said Harry quickly. But uh, is there any particular reason you're here? Oh, yes, sir, said Dobby earnestly. Okay, you boy. So we're going to focus, just like yesterday, we're going to focus on the first part of our extract. But today we're going to be answering our inference questions. We're going to have to interpret what we read. So my first question, how do we know Harry was surprised to see the creature? Pause the video and can you write this down either in your book or on your whiteboards? Off you go. Okay, year four. So it doesn't actually say Harry was surprised. So we have to look for clues in the text. So at the very beginning, it says Harry managed not to shout out, but it was a close thing. Now, I thought, when would I ever want to shout out really quickly, but have to stop myself? Or maybe if I'm either scared or if I'm surprised. I'm going to highlight this bit here. So my answer, we know Harry was surprised because the text says he managed not to shout out. Okay, well done. Let's have a look at another inference question together. Do you think the creature was wealthy? Mm. Wealthy, that means rich. Lots of money. Pause the video and have a go at answering this question. Okay, again, it doesn't say yes, the creature was wealthy or no, he wasn't wealthy. So I'm looking for my clues. And down here, it says he was wearing what looked like an old pillowcase with rips for arms and leg holes. I'm not going to just copy that exact sentence. I need it to make sense. So my answer looks like, I don't think the creature is wealthy because he was wearing something, which looks like an old ripped pillowcase. All right, year four, your task today is to continue answering inference questions. Can you pause the video here? Because then you'll be able to see all five questions. Can you, at the top of your page, can you write the long dates and reading? And then can you write your questions out and your answers underneath, please? You're going to need your text, aren't you, that you printed out on Monday. And you can highlight just like I did, or if you don't have your text, you're going to have to rewind the video and just have a look at going through the text with me. OK, well done year four on all your hard work with your reading this week. I really look forward to seeing your answers when you bring your books back into school. Have a good day year four.